Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to another list spam video. So we're continuing our American journey, we're now going into Fortress Europe American, which uh, the Fortress Europe book is a bit of a stopgap between uh, mid-war and late war, um, kind of recreating the Sicily-Italy battles. Um, so it was, I remember it was brought out just before um, American D-Day, so it was just kind of booked to bring everything into the new adjusted points for late war. It was a pretty decent book when it came out, um, but like if you would use the Americans now um, from this book, um, they might struggle against the more late, late um, war stuff. Um, but in all aspects, it's nice because um, it is a slight different feel to it because it still has a little bit of that mid-war feel to it and not quite there um, with the careful Americans uh, yet, but um, you can still feel um, some interesting lists. Uh, a few of these lists have had to double up with formations um, because um, I've only used stuff from Fortress Europe. I haven't used anything else um, to make it more fun in making this. So first one we'll be looking at is the M4 Sherman. Okay, so if you're um, new to Flames of War and you've got you've been playing mid war and now you're going into late war, um, you'll see that you can get a lot more for your points in terms of tanks now. And the good thing is, like fighting first, you can have your um, recon patrol, your mortars, and your assault guns in formation, and that is quite nice. Um, so we've got plenty of Shermans uh, in this list. Um, so basically, 100 points in this, 40 points will be in reserve if you have reserves, so I've done it um, just to be as good as possible. Uh, supporting them, we have some AA units, so three points is basically enough just to check them in reserves. Uh, you got some M10s providing the much needed uh, higher anti-tank and we have an armoured rifle platoon with your mobile infantry supporting the tanks. Okay so going from mid-war uh, the Americans are still aggressive uh, with their Shermans. Uh, they're trained now because uh, they've learned how to use them. Uh, they're still confident but they do have a three plus last stand now uh, with the blood and guts special rule. Um, so, same as it was in mid-war, it's front six, side four, so there's a lot more big guns out there now that will punch through a Sherman, but you will have a lot of them, so use them wisely, and use your smoke wisely to screen your advance. The AT-10 gun, um, so basically against other medium tanks, is effective, but against the heavier stuff, the Tigers and the Panthers, you're going to be up against in uh, late war. Um, you will struggle uh, unless you go on the side, but that's what the M10s are there for, to help out with um, the lack of anti-tank. Um, but against infantry, you should be decent enough as well, because you've got 50 cows and regular machine guns on your tank. And please note, um, the Shermans have stabilizers, uh, still like they do have in, uh, in mid-war, which means they can fire their full rate of fire while moving, but a plus one penalty to hit your target. Okay, so goodbye M3 Stuart, hello M5 Stuart. So um, we've been upgraded with M5s now. The stats of, I think, I think the armor is slightly different. Um, so we've got a lot, lots and lots of Stuarts uh, in this formation. And again, with our mortars, assault guns, and recon, and then we have plenty of support in the form of Shermans and M10s, and an armored rifle platoon. And we've also got aircraft. Now I very rarely take aircraft, but we had the point spare, and it's something good to check into reserve. Uh, but yeah, we have uh, the P-40 Warhawks, and then we had one point to spare, so I've thrown in a lucky command card. Okay, so here we have the M5 Stuart, so it's front four, side three, top one, so very, very light tank. It's aggressive, confident train with a three plus last stand, so the same as the Sherman. It is faster, uh, it does have a lighter gun, it does have a lot of MGs, so be careful how you use them, probably not see many people running the formation of them, but they are a swarm, how many Stuarts have we got? We have um, 15, 16, 17 Stuarts in this uh, list, so max units of uh, 5 in each platoon, um, so they're going to be everywhere, um, but yeah, should be a fun list to play. Uh, providing you're probably playing with another Fortress unit, uh, Fortress Europe uh, opponent. Otherwise, you could be up against um, some uh, lots of heavy stuff with big guns uh, that are like not great stats, but still it's going to be hard to take down. Okay, so now we have a tank hunter company, um, the M10. So um, we have Stuarts of the HQ, and then we have three units of M10s with an armoured recon patrol. Um, no artillery in their formation, so that's why the priests are in support. We also have Shermans and Stuarts in support as well, and another armoured rifle platoon. 
with a lucky command card. Okay, so um, the M10 is careful, probably the only thing in this book that is careful. Uh, it is front five, side two, so fairly light on the armour side of things. Confident trained uh, with a six counter-attack and a five assault, which you'd expect for an open top. Uh, so propel gun. Uh, it does have seek strike and destroy, so uh, if you pass a blitz move, you can do a shoot and scoot, but it's only going to be a 50-50 anyway with its skill rating. Uh, the biggest thing um, you'll be taking the M10s for is the AT-12 gun, um, so it's got a good range and obviously you can take out tigers and panthers. Uh, it doesn't have HE, so not great to take out infantry. Um, it does have 50 cals as well. Um, so yeah, these these are your tank destroyers, so look after them because they'll be primary target if your opponent has slightly heavy armour. So um, yeah. So this is a double formation one, so the Armoured Rifle Company um, wasn't an awful lot of decent stuff to take, um, so we've taken two full platoons with the HQ and um, assault guns, um, so um, we then have a second um, formation of M10s because I just couldn't make points up by just using support, um, but then we have some Shermans and um, another aircraft unit in support as well, but um, yeah, so slightly light on artillery, but bear in mind you do have two mortars in your armoured rifle platoons, um, and that's it. So this is the armoured rifle platoon. Um, they are aggressive, competent with a 3 plus rally, and they are trained. So not overly bad, it's just the aggressiveness will probably hurt you more than anything. There's a lot of guys in these units, so you've got six rifle teams, five bazookas, which is pretty decent, so if you get near your objective, um, hopefully you can keep away the pesky marauding tanks that'll be trying to push you off. You also have um, two LMGs, so that'll help fend off the infantry. And you do have one little mortar, which I tend to leave dismounted towards the end of the table, um, and then just keep plugging away a template weapon. But being only one, you will have to re-roll your hits, but still, it's not too bad uh, to have. Um, you get two extra templates in this list, um, and then there's also a third one with the Jeep in the recon unit as well. Okay, so this is the M3 half track. Uh, so these will be going with your armoured rifle platoons. Now you have two 50 cals now rather than just the one from mid-war. Um, so good at uh, helping dig out infantry. And if you're on the objective or near the objective and you've got infantry holding it or trying to push you off, these guys are there just to help you out. Bear in mind, uh, these guys are still aggressive. Um, they're reluctant with a six counter attack and they're trained um, with a six assault, so the infantry are going to have to do the, the dirty work, but these guys should help you out enough. Another double formation, so we have the rifle company this time, so we have two full platoons uh, with ten teams in each platoon, mortars and assault guns in the formation, and a rifle company, and back them up is an M4 Sherman company with um, more mortars, armoured mortars, and recon, and we have some M10s in support. So. Quite a lot going on in this list. Um, oh, and we also have Stuarts as well. So we've got pretty much a mix of everything here. Um, but we'll have a little look at the stats for the infantry now. So the rifle platoon, same stats as the uh, armoured uh, platoons. Um, this time, obviously, you've got 10 rifle teams um, and uh, two bazookas and an LMG. So a lot more meat on the bones here. Um, so, um, yeah. And you could probably thin them down to seven teams and then maybe squeeze in a third platoon by dropping something else. Um, but that's it. But you have um, three artillery units in the as well, so you can fire smoke. So it should help out again with the aggressiveness of these platoons. Okay, so we have two um, build formation command cards with Fortress Europe American. So we have, this is the first one. So it's an engineer combat company command card. So basically these are rifle platoons, but they have the pioneers rule, so they'll be able to dig in and go through minefields better. Might be your sort of thing. The only thing is, is basically it is just the infantry platoons in the formation. Um, so that's why I've maxed out as many platoons as possible. And in support then we've got M10s and we have a second uh, company in the form of the Shermans, which brings in the mortars and the recon as well. And um, yeah, so that is this list. And then we're going on to the second one. Uh, which is basically the armoured uh, engineers. Okay, so basically the same as the one before, but these ones have half tracks. Um, 
obviously they're a lot more expensive um so i've added two 37 millimeter guns to the formation just to keep it secure a little bit more and you can always put the guns in reserve because they're not going to be doing much um we do have priests and m10s as well to back up and a second formation uh, in the forms of a sherman company it's not a big sherman company but again struggling to make points by just using support units Okay, so now we'll have a look at the support units that have been used in most of the formations. So we have the um, scout unit. So uh, this will be the last time as the American players you'll be seeing the M3A1 armoured car because um, they, these boys unfortunately get ditched um, in the subsequent books. But you will keep your jeeps, um, which will either have a 30 cal and a mortar, and then with the M10s it will have a 50 cal. But decent enough um, with their little mortar. The biggest thing these guys is they give you a spearhead so you can expand your deployment zone if can. And they also have scout, which means you'll keep gone to ground, providing you haven't fired. Um, so it could be tricky to get rid of you. And they're careful as well. So in formation artillery, like the uh, mid war Americans, um, the T 30 and the mortar, again, like the M3 scout car, the T 30 is uh, the end of the line for these guys with the Americans but we'll stay uh, with the 81mm mortar platoon um, so overall quite good you know they can't be pinned uh, but if they are hit by pretty much anything they will die um, but it does give you uh, smoke barrages and regular artillery and this time they're trained so it should be slightly easier to um, drop a template but with all the ones we saw in the mid-war book we were upgrading them to trained anyway um, and again they're aggressive so do look after them so the priest featured heavily um, in a lot of the lists um, so aggressive confident veteran this time so it'll be easier to range in and use a, a time on target so time on target is if you range in first attempt you're treated as a repeat bombardment so your opponent will have to re-roll their infantry and gun saves um, so overall decent artillery and if need be a decent uh, last resort gun with an 89 um, and again, another smoke template as well, a smoke barrage as well to help with your aggressive stuff. But bear in mind, these are aggressive too, um, but overall not too bad uh, for points for what you get. Okay, the P-40 Warhawk was available in mid-war, but um, I don't like taking aircraft unless I have to. Now, these guys are only six points, and there's quite a few occasions making these lists I had six points spare, so I just threw them in. Now, aircraft can be good, can be great. Remember, it's only 50 50 that they'll ever come in. And if they do, um, if you're trying to range in, it's another 50 50 if there's no terrain. Um, but the best thing these guys are going to be going after is probably an armored or um, like side zero uh, targets because the 50 cals being anti tank 5 with a 5 plus 5 hour can be quite useful. Um, but the, the bombs, again, they are good with our firepower, um, but you really do need to range in, and you have to range in every time you bring them in. So tend to not use aircraft much because um, they just never work for me. But then for some reason, when they used against me, they just seem to have man of the match. Okay, so this was used in one list just to beef up the points, so it is just an AAA uh, platoon. Um, so it is decent at digging out infantry, and if there's enemy aircraft, these guys will go off and protect your assets. And that is it from the book. It's very thin on the ground in formations, but as I said, it's a stopgap. There'll be a lot more meat in the D-Day book, which will be coming up next for the Americans, and a lot more command cards, because these command cards with this are very basic. You have the two um, ones for the engineer companies which we saw a lucky card and i think soft skin transport so it's not really big in the terms of command cards but the american d-day and bulge book is where these ones really come alive uh, and is a lot more um but bear in mind if you are playing campaigns in italy and sicily and you're using this book to try and be uh, more historically accurate remember you can might as well add the um airborne units from the d-day americans to so the paratroopers and the glider units because they were present uh, and the rangers as well um so have fun with this book i do like it um and it just turned out when i was taking photos of the unit cards i've not actually opened it before and i've probably had them for years